A Central Florida police officer is finally back home after months in the hospital because of COVID. We first introduce you to Howie in the Hills officer John Hamelink back in August when he was intubated in the hospital. He and his wife tested positive for COVID. And now, as News 6's Amanda Castro explains, Officer Hamelink and his wife are both back where they belong. Just glad to be home. For the first time in nearly two months, John Hamelink woke up in his own bed. Coming home on Saturday to signs in his front yard, a warm welcome for the Howie in the Hills police officer. It's a bumpy road, but we'll make it through it. We spoke to John's wife, Galen, back in August after they both tested positive for COVID. John says he was having trouble breathing and went to the hospital. He was intubated in the ICU for a month, remembering the moment he came out of the coma. And the next thing I remember, um, I woke up in Galen's arm, uh, looking up at her, and I could hear her calling for me. He spent another three weeks recovering and going through rehab. I basically had to learn to walk. I used a walker. Uh, I was trying to use a cane. Uh, for a short distance, I can walk without anything. My balance is kind of wobbly. And Galen was by his side every step of the way. This guy uh, is, has a very strong will to go. And I honestly, I've never seen anything like that in my life. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, COVID was the leading cause of death among officers during the first six months of the year. How do you feel to know that you thankfully are not one of those statistics? I'm very grateful. Yeah. My, uh, my doctor, when I got to rehab, walked in the room and told me I was a miracle. And he was glad to see me. John and Galen say they're still deciding if they want to get the vaccine. Adding the community's prayers and support helped them both get through this. There are times when multiple people come together and they cry out to the Lord. And those prayers are answered. And that is exactly what happened uh, in this situation. Absolutely. And while it's still a long road to recovery, John says he's looking forward to returning to work. I just want to get back to, you know, doing my job and supporting my community. Amanda Castro, Getting Results, News 6.